What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So this week we're going to review an extension that allows you to quickly create concrete foundations in SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Medik Foundations. Plugin developer, Nathaniel Wilkerson. How much does it cost? It's $15. Where do you get it? You can download the trial version of the extension from either the SketchUp or the Sketchication extension stores. I'll also link to it in the notes below. Tool Functions This extension contains a suite of tools designed to help you create structural foundation models in SketchUp. I do want to note that it's still in development, but the tools that it already contains are very useful. At the moment, the tools that are active are the Stimwall Foundation Tool, the Slab on Grade, and the Slab Tools. This extension is very versatile in that it will not only allow you to draw things like stem walls, grade beams, and slabs, but will also generate everything from anchor bolts, to reinforcing, to foundation insulation, and vents in your foundations. You can use it for something as simple as drawing a simple stem wall around the base of your building, all the way up to creating detailed construction drawings. It can generate walls along a path, in a rectangle, or all the way around the perimeter of a face. You can then section these walls and take them into layout. Whenever you create your wall, you get a vast number of options that you can use to customize what you're creating. You can set everything from reinforcing spacing, to mesh in your slabs, to anchor bolts, to foundation insulation and thickness. It's really a whole bunch of different options. The Slab on Grade tool allows you to create a slab with structural grade beams. Finally, the Slabs tool allows you to create a simple slab complete with reinforcing. The other nice thing about this extension is that you can set it to create all the different geometry on different layers so that you can turn them on and off quickly. The developer is still working on this extension along with several others including his truss extension which we may cover next week but even for what's included this is well worth the $15 investment. That's where I'm going to wrap up this extension overview. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think about it. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. Um, as you know, a lot of these extensions aren't free and that just helps me offset the cost of software and other things so I can help create better uh, SketchUp tutorials. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.